everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all okay. If you are new here, I am Rachel, I am a mummy to a nearly 16 month old little boy called Joshua. Um, and I try to upload Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, um, anything sort of parenting, lifestyle, hauls, reviews, days in the life, little bits of everything on my channel. Um, so if you like that sort of thing then stick around i would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already down below um and if you're a tin subscriber then welcome back i am back today with a video all about tips on how to regain your confidence after you've had a baby um and this is more to do with um bodily confidence um this is something that I struggled a little bit with um, in the first 12 months after having a baby but I kind of feel like I'm getting there now and I wanted to share my tips with you on how I did get there. So I've got a few notes here so if you see me looking down then that's why but I am just going to get stuck straight into it. So my first tip is to make an effort in the morning and by this I mean go and put your makeup on and do your hair like you would have done before you had a baby ask your partner if they can just watch the child for 20 minutes while you just go and put a little bit of makeup on and do your hair or even if you can't do that wait till your baby's napping and go and do it then at like 11 or 12 some days i don't get to put my makeup on till nearly midday um and it's a bit of a pain in the bum because you've gone all morning without having it but at the same time once I put it on I feel so much better for just putting a little bit of makeup on and doing my hair because for me it was something that I would always do before I had a baby and it just gives me that little like but it makes me feel like I'm a little bit more put together in the morning um, and just gives me that little bit of confidence Obviously, if you're not one that used to wear makeup anyway, then this won't apply. But if you were, then I would say do what you would have done or try to do as much as you would have done before you had the baby. Um, so I always try and make an effort to do my makeup if I'm going out anywhere or um, I'm on the go because it just makes me feel that little bit more confident in the morning. My second tip is to eat healthily. It's so easy when you've had a baby to just get into this rut of eating convenience food because you're so tired and you can't be bothered to get up and cook your partner can't be bothered to get up and cook and you just eat whatever is easy because it's easy but in turn unhealthy convenience food isn't going to make you feel good about yourself short term yes long term no eating crap is going to make you feel crap I believe um, so try and eat as healthily as you can because when I eat healthy I always feel a lot more positive in myself and it may help you to lose a little bit of baby weight in turn which is just a winner winner isn't it really um, so three this is quite a difficult one but try and get as much sleep as you can because and I know that this is really, really difficult in the early days, um, but do try and get as much sleep as you possibly can, um, i.e. don't go to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. Try and set like a reasonable bedtime hour because I feel like when you've had a relatively good night's sleep, you don't feel like you look so tired and you've got a little bit more motivation for the day um, to go and make an effort or to go out or something like that. And I think when you've had a little bit more sleep, you just feel a little bit more positive so number four and this is the one that I struggled with the most is as hard as it is try and accept that your body has changed because you've had a baby and it's done a beautiful thing but realistically not many people get back to how they were pre-pregnancy and if you do then you're really lucky um, and this is something that I really struggled to come to terms with I think I was when I had no body confidence after I'd had my little boy, I think a lot of the time it was because I was comparing myself to my pre-pregnancy body. And realistically for me, I'm never going to get back there. I've got stretch marks and I've put a little bit of weight on and my hair now falls out and it's not as thick and in as a good condition as it was and I think I was always just comparing myself to my pre-pregnancy self and realistically for me I'm never going to get back there and I need to accept that this is how my body is now and that is 
absolutely fine and it is still beautiful and I can still look lovely um I've given somebody a life that's a massive thing and your body is beautiful if nothing else for doing that so do try and accept that your body may have changed but it is still beautiful and it is the body you're in now um and try and sort of Try and embrace the body you're in now because it really has done something beautiful. And my last tip, tip number five, would be to try and focus on the things that you like about yourself. So look in the mirror and, and look at the things that you do actually like about yourself rather than focusing on the things that you necessarily don't like so much so I really like that my hair has grown loads since I've been pregnant and my skin is a lot better um, since I've had Joshua and those are things that I really like about myself I like the fact that um, I haven't put an awful lot of weight on my legs um, and those are the the bits of myself that I do like so I try and focus on those things rather than focusing on oh my god I've got stretch marks all over my belly and I've put weight on my thighs and my bum isn't as perky as it was pre-pregnancy rather than just being like a negative Nancy and focusing on all the things that I don't like about myself I try now to look at the things that I do like about myself and think oh well I like this and I like that um, and just generally just try and be a bit more positive I know it is really 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 hard after you've had a baby because I don't think I ever thought so much about my body would change when I had a baby, so it was a little bit of a shocker. But I think ultimately, ultimately, you have got to realise that your body's done something really, really beautiful, and you, you just have to embrace yourself for who you are, and just, it's very hard, but you need to learn to love yourself again. Um, but those are my five tips for gaining back your body confidence after you've had a baby. I hope that this is a little bit helpful for you. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you all again in another video. Bye. Thanks for watching.